Welcome back to Studio 701. Well, it's Monday, which means we're starting our week out right with some live music. We're so happy to have Studio Entertainment, sponsored by our friends at Starian Bank. And today we welcome Phil McMahon of the McMahon Brothers. Thanks for being here, Phil. Thanks for having me. So, we understand you had a big show uh, at the Laughing Sun, what, on Friday maybe? How'd that go? Yeah, it went great. Uh, it was full crowd. We had our five-piece band with my brother Jim McMahon and then a couple of our friends that join us every once in a while and we have bigger shows. So it was some of the most fun I've had playing music in the last while, so awesome. very entertaining. Until this morning, right? <laughs> uh, of course, yeah, yeah. Yeah, We've had Jim on the show too, so one of these times we're going to get you two together, which we can't wait to do. But it is really fun hearing that you're from a family of musical brothers but that your parents, now I believe you said this, can't hold a tune. How does that come about? Really? Yeah, that's kind of verbatim of how I put it to say. <laughs> and I think uh, as far as our mom goes, because I have a brother who you know, does woodwinds, and then my brother plays trumpet, uh, percussion, I play guitar, and we, and we all sing. And at any given time when we were growing up, we all tried to give little lessons to our mom to try to like, you know, because she wanted to be a part of it. And we would go so far as to be like, you know, I just, you can't, I mean, it's like, here's a tambourine for you, but you're not, I don't know if you can even do that. <laughs> <laughs> I love wow. you, Mom. So did you guys have, like, a teacher in school that got you all into music, or did uh, one sibling do it and you followed in line? We all grew up, I mean, having a love for music. We listened to a lot of music growing up. I remember, you know, we would play guitar on our tennis rackets, uh, stuff like that, <laughs> in the living room, and we just always kind of had a... A, like I said, a love for it. Um, the oldest brother, Jim, he's the one who kind of started in band. I think he started with clarinet like in seventh grade. And then we all just kind of picked it up and kind of just, they were all in band. I was more self-taught. Um, they were all kind of jazz musicians trained. I was, uh, I did a lot of singer, songwriter, acoustic stuff, so. Nice. Hmm? And, and really quick, Phil, uh, you're really into promoting the arts in our community. So let us in, like, why is that one of your passions? Uh, started more kind of, I piggybacked off my brother on that one. He's been in the community a, a little bit longer than I have, but uh, he's a choir teacher here in town. And we do different charity events. We do um, different things. Um, he just got a grant from, I believe, the ND Council for the Arts, and he did some studio time. And it's all about um, live, original music and doing some clinics with younger people. With uh, Actually, on Friday, we had some of his students get up on stage with us and sing a song with us. So it's just trying to get you know, people involved with the arts and so that, you know, they can have a love for it like we did growing up. How yeah. cool. That is amazing. Well, we are excited to hear your first song. What are you playing for us today? Uh, this is a song called Wishing Well. I wrote probably 20 years ago. Now I'm aging myself. But yeah, so, but it's, <laughs> nice. you know, it's a song that I wrote and it's kind of evolved in a way and I've changed lyrics here and there and stuff like that. So cool. Right. Thank you for the addition. Appreciate it.
wishing well is full Well is oh, 20 years ago? Dang. Still holds up. <laughs> Love that. Thank you so much, Phil. Thanks, Thank Phil. Yeah. All right, you can keep up with Phil by following the McMahon Brothers on Facebook, and we will have another song from him later on in the show. Looking forward to that, but coming up.